I was born on March 26, 1999 in Alliance, Ohio. Diastrophic dysplasia is what I was diagnosed with when I was born. Um, it is a diagnosis that mainly affects the bones. Um, and so the more that you grow, the more crooked you become. And so you have to have surgeries in order to be able to walk. Um, and so it's kind of like a relief when you stop growing because that means that, like your bones can't get any more crooked. Um, my body also doesn't produce the enzyme that heals broken bones. So like if I break something, it'll probably be like double or triple the recovery of an average person. And so growing up, I've had six surgeries, and four of those were every winter from ages 8 to 12. And so that was a lot of my childhood. Um, and it's not like a, oh, poor me, this is what it was like, but it is what it was like. When I was about 12, I tried to convince my parents to let me dye my hair blue and they just were not a fan of it and I didn't actually get to but my whole mentality was like people are already gonna look at me so like why don't I give them something to look at. My family has been involved in foster care since before I was born and like that's what I want to go and work with when I'm older. Like I want to work with older kids that are in the foster care system, um, kids that are wards of the state and have nowhere to go and just age out and like I'm super passionate about that. And my older sister made this t-shirt that just says, families don't have to match. Um, and like, I have this opportunity that people are gonna look at me and I can wear these t-shirts that have these messages that I'm super passionate about. Um, and I think that's really cool. Like in this weird cheesy way, like I have a way of like promoting something that they're gonna have to look at kind of whether they want to or not. Um, and it's just been a way that like I talk about the things that are so important to me. Um, and I have another one that says white silence is violence and a couple that say porn kills love. And one of my professors makes a joke that I walk in with a different social justice t-shirt every time we have class. But I think that's my thing is like, if you're gonna look at me, I'm gonna give you something to look at and I'm gonna make you think about it. And I'm okay with having to do that. you're confident and you're proud of who you are and like you like who you are that's gonna show people like there's something about you that like you're not going to agree with them that you don't fit into society standards and I agree I don't fit into society standards of beauty or who people should be or things to be proud of um, but the reality is that every person I've ever met has at least one thing we're celebrating inside of them um, and that sounds super cheesy, like it could be found on Pinterest or something like that, but the reality of it is true and that um, we were made to celebrate who we are because it brought glory to the one that made us. And the devil will only haunt dreams and that's my word. Someone once wrote me a note that said the way that you have confidence in who you are gives other people the confidence to be themselves. 
And that was just like a really powerful thing to me because I think something that a lot of people with disabilities deal with is like, are they okay with themselves? And that's like, they're building up trying to figure that out. But that just really blessed me with the mentality that like I was okay with it. And he gave me this confidence that like I could celebrate who I was. Um, and the fact that there's only 14,000 people like me in the world. And I think that's just kind of a irreplaceable opportunity to share my testimony without actually having to say anything. Um, and I think that's super cool. So I don't want to take that for granted. Um, my name is Annie Kalachuk. I'm a sophomore social work major. I'm an RA in Heritage Hall. Um, I shaved half my head when I was a sophomore in high school. We won't be doing that again. Um, and I want to change the world. <laughs>